Everest isn't the tallest. Most people say Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. But here's the thing. Everest isn't the tallest. It's the highest peak above sea level. If we're talking about height from base to peak, the title actually goes to Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It starts beneath the ocean, and when measured from its base deep underwater, it's over 10,000 meters tall, surpassing Everest by a significant margin. So yes, Everest is the highest above sea level, but Mauna Kea takes the crown for tallest mountain when you count everything. Summer and winter aren't about distance. Ever wonder why we have summer and winter? Many believe it's because Earth is closer to the sun in summer and farther away in winter. But if that's true, why is it summer in Australia while it's winter in Europe and America? It doesn't add up, right? The real reason is Earth's tilt. Earth is tilted at 23.5 degrees. This tilt causes different parts of the Earth to get varying amounts of sunlight as it orbits the sun. When a part of Earth tilts towards the sun, it experiences summer, and when it tilts away, it's winter. Earth is actually closest to the sun during the Northern Hemisphere's winter. So it's not about distance, it's all about the tilt. Sahara isn't the largest. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world, right? Actually, no. While it's the largest hot desert, the true largest desert on Earth is Antarctica. It covers around 14 million square kilometers. That's about one and a half times bigger than the Sahara, which spans around 9 million. It might seem strange to call a place covered in ice a desert, but a desert isn't defined by sand. It's defined by how little precipitation it gets. And Antarctica is the driest place on Earth, with less than two inches of snowfall or rain per year. So even though it's frozen, it's technically the largest and driest desert we have. Columbus didn't discover America. It's often called the discovery of America, but we can't really call it that. After all, the land was already inhabited by indigenous peoples long before Columbus arrived. In fact, Columbus was not even the first European to step foot on the Americas. Around the year 1000 AD, Viking explorer Leif Erikson reached North America, landing in what is now Canada. This was almost 500 years before Columbus sailed across the Atlantic. Columbus did, however, have a significant impact. His voyage in 1492 led to the European colonization of the Americas, forever changing history. But the truth is, he was neither the first to discover it, nor the first European to set foot there. Egypt isn't in Middle East. Here's a common misconception. Egypt is often considered part of the Middle East, but geographically, it's in North Africa. The country is located on the African continent, though culturally and historically, it's tied to the Middle East because of its location at the intersection of Africa and Asia. The Suez Canal, which runs through Egypt, separates the two continents. So while Egypt is sometimes grouped with the Middle East, it's technically part of Africa. Iceland isn't all ice. With a name like Iceland, it's easy to assume the country is frozen over, but that's far from the truth. While it may sound icy, Iceland's climate is much milder than you'd expect. Only about 11% of its land is covered in glaciers. Thanks to the Gulf Stream, temperatures along the coast stay surprisingly moderate. Iceland is actually much milder than its neighbor, Greenland. Despite the names, Greenland has far more ice and a much colder climate even though both lie in the Arctic. So Iceland may not be tropical, but it's definitely not the frozen wasteland its name suggests. Russia isn't bigger than Africa. Russia looks a lot bigger than Africa on a regular map, but that's actually an illusion. In reality, Russia is about 17 million square kilometers, while Africa is nearly 30 million. That means Africa is almost twice the size of Russia. The reason this misconception exists is because of something called map projection. When we try to flatten a round Earth onto a two-dimensional map, areas near the poles, like Russia, get stretched out. Meanwhile, regions near the equator, like Africa, don't. So on most maps, Russia appears huge, and Africa looks much smaller than it really is. But if you look at a globe or a corrected map, you'll see the truth. Africa is the real giant. Bulls don't hate red. You've probably seen a matador waving a bright red flag in front of an angry bull. But here's the twist. Bulls aren't actually angry at the color red. In fact, they can't even see it. 
Bulls are red-green colorblind, meaning red looks like a shade of gray or brown to them. What really triggers their aggression is the movement of the cape. The way it flutters and jerks around catches the bull's attention and makes it charge. The red color is just tradition, used for flair and dramatic effect in bullfighting, not because it provokes the animal. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.